30th July 1990. After sweeping the ODI series on a foreign soil, India were to play a three-match test series against the host England. The English team was out for blood though as they posted a massive 633 in the first innings on the back of a magnificent triple century by their captain Graham Root. Kiran Moore was the culprit as he dropped a straight forward catch behind the stumps when Root was on 36. The English skipper went on to add 297 more runs ensuring that the possibility of an Indian victory was minuscule. On the Indian side, Ravi Shastri and Azizuddin hit magnificent centuries. Is Ravi Shastri's 100th. The ninth one for India, the third one against England. After their fall, Kapil did plug up one end. But the bleeding at the other end reduced India to 430 for 9. India needed 24 more runs to avoid a follow-on. With one wicket in hand and Narendra Hirwani for company, Dave took matters into his own hands. After blocking the first two balls from off-spinner Eddie Hemmings, the all-rounder vaults down the track and cleared the long-on boundary for his first six. Next ball, same delivery, same shot, same result. The next ball, Hemming tried to ball at a fuller length, but was hit for a flatter six this time. And that is the best of all. That's three sixes. That was a skimmer. It went. The next ball was pushed wider, but Kapil Dev stretched to get underneath the ball and connected crisply for the four. I suppose it's only logical if you need 24 to save the follow one why wouldn't you get it in four hits only couple that could have done that only couple there each of the four sixes were hit straight over the bowler's head three of which actually cleared the scaffold thus kapil dev became the first player in test cricket to hit four sixes on four deliveries Hirwani was out on the next ball India had avoided being put to bat again by just one run Kapil Dev remained unbeaten on 77 Despite avoiding the follow on India was handed a 247 run loss in the test However India refused to lose another match in the series returning home with the ODI sweep and only one test match loss on foreign soil this was no small matter not many remember the series though but what people remember is the never say die attitude of a legend of the game May it be his innings against Zimbabwe in 1983 World Cup or this little gem here. What's remembered is a defiant captain who could change the game with a bat or a ball or in the field. Kapil Dev, the Natraj of Indian cricket.